Mastering Management with High Output Management, a chapter-by-chapter -chapter guide. Welcome to our journey through the 11 books recommended by multimillionaire Luke Belmar. We have the whole collection summarized in easy-to-understand videos with real-life application examples involved. Wait for the playlist at the end of the video. Welcome, future leaders and entrepreneurs. Today, I'm diving into a gem of a book that's a must-read for anyone looking to sharpen their management skills. High Output Management by Andrew S. Grove If you find today's insights useful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on more content like this. Let's jump right in. Chapter 1 of High Output Management starts with the basics. What is management? According to Grove, Management is all about getting things done through others by utilizing their skill set or time. Imagine you're running a small startup. You've got great ideas, but your real challenge lies in orchestrating your team to turn these ideas into reality. That's where strong management skills come into play. Moving on to Chapter 2, we delve into the idea of managerial leverage. This means achieving more outcomes without necessarily increasing the amount of time you work. Want a real-life example? Let's say you run a digital marketing agency. By creating a system where your team members report daily metrics, you can quickly identify issues and opportunities without having to dig through the data yourself. This system increases your leverage and allows you to focus on strategic decisions that will grow the company. In Chapter 3, Grove talks about the importance of meetings. Yes, we all groan about them, but Grove shows us that when done right, Meetings are an invaluable tool for information exchange and decision-making. Sticking with the digital theme, imagine you're at a tech company. Instead of endless, aimless discussions and Teams messages, have a single or couple of structured meetings with clear agendas can turn these sessions into powerful platforms for aligning your team and pushing projects forward. One of my favorite insights comes from Chapter 5, where Grove emphasizes on motivation. He explains that understanding an individual's motivations can help you to align their personal goals with the company's objectives. Let's change up the example. If you own a coffee shop, for instance, recognizing a barista's aspiration to be a manager can lead to dedicated mentorships, fostering loyalty, and enhancing productivity. Showing your team that you're not just there to be a taskmaster, but to help them develop, improve, and achieve their personal ambitions will ensure you get the best out of them. Look at people like Andy Elliott and how enthusiastic he is about bringing people along the with him on his journey. Lastly, let's talk about performance reviews, which is covered in Chapter 7. Grove points out that these should not just be annual rituals, but ongoing processes. In the company I work for, they're every quarter to align with the key metric or risk indicators. If you run an online clothing store, Regular feedback can help your designers stay creative and proactive, rather than waiting for an annual review to find out where they stand. Think of the amount of sales that the company could lose out on if a certain line was liked, but the stock order wasn't adjusted, or on the other hand, if a line wasn't liked, but they continued to order it, how much money would they lose? In essence, high output management isn't just a book. It's a blueprint for building robust management practices that can scale as you grow from a startup to a powerhouse. It blends the theoretical with the practical, making it a timeless guide for anyone in a leadership role. It's similar to one of the other books covered, Shop Management, which you'll find in the playlist. Before we wrap up, remember, management is both an art and a science. The principles laid out by Andrew Grove in High Output Management provide a strong foundation. But the real magic happens when you adapt and apply these insights to your unique circumstances and by including your personality. No one likes to work for or with people they don't enjoy the company of. There will always be some people you won't get on with. But on the whole, most people will sometimes stay in a job as they like their colleagues, not the job specifically. If today's breakdown of high output management has sparked your interest, smash that like button, subscribe for more insights, and share this video with someone who could benefit from these management strategies. Here's to your management journey and unlocking your full potential. Until next time, keep striving and stay inspired.